All right, let's take a look at how to find the mean variance and standard deviation for a binomial probability distribution. Some of my other videos have shown how to find the mean or expected value for just a, a um, discrete probability, discrete random variable probability distribution. But this is for a binomial probability distribution. How do I find the mean and standard deviation and the variance? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Um, we've looked at this uh, basketball player free throw problem before, and here is the probability distribution or the binomial probability distribution. To find the mean or the me the average number of free throws that they make, if she's ta if this basketball player is taking three free throws, the average or the mean number of free throws that she makes can be found by taking n times p. We have to identify these different things. So n is the total number of attempts, or in this case, the total number of outcomes, okay? Or uh, the total number of attempts, excuse me. So that would be three. She's taking three free throw attempts. So n is three. P is the probability of a success. And it tells us that the probability that she makes her free throw is 80%. So P is 0.8. So all I have to do to find the mean down here, the mean of this would be 3 times 0.8. And 3 times 0.8 is 2.4. So there's the average number of free throws if that we can expect this girl to make. If she takes three free throws, on average, she's going to make 2.4 of those free throws. Well, when you're talking about the mean, you should always also talk about the variance or really the standard deviation. So what are those formulas? Well, the variance would be sigma squared equals n times p times q. Well, I know n is 3 and p is 0.8, but now i got to look at q. Well, q is always 1 minus p, so in this case, q is 0.2. So here, the variance would be 3 times 0.8 times 0.2, and 3 times 0.8 times 0.2 gives me 0.48. That would be the variance of this distribution. Well, I've got one more thing that I want to look at, and that's the standard deviation. Well, standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. And this little squared should not be there. Symbol for standard deviation is just sigma. So this should be sigma equals the square root of n times p times q. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and take my find my standard deviation. It's the square root of 0.48. I already know n times p times q is 0.48. And the square root of 0.48 is 0.693, if I round off. 0.693. So it's really as easy as that as far as finding your mean, variance, or standard deviation. You just have to know what n is, what p is, and what q is and use your formulas appropriately.